and we're off. Hey Kevin, so how are you doing today? I'm doing well. We're here at uh, Cloud Connect second day, um, doing the speed geeking. Um, I'm with Google, so we're presenting two solutions. Um, our Google app engine, which developers can, can build off of, and then we're talking about our Google data APIs and our Google Maps APIs. Oh, very cool. So now, you've been uh, here with the uh, Google Apps since the beginning, you're just telling me, right? Yeah, so I've, I've been at Google about four and a half years and have had a fun time growing the enterprise team. Uh, we started out with um, under 20 people, and now we have uh, over 500 people. So it's Jeez. been a, a wild ride, um, but there have been a lot of good successes along the way with initially the search products and then uh, the mapping products and, and Google Earth products and then uh, within the last few years Google Apps which has really taken off and has been Google's uh, thrust into cloud computing for businesses. And so the, there's apps and there's App Engine and how would you talk about the difference between those? Sure, well App Engine is a platform uh, you can use Python to basically develop applications that can be hosted with Google and the benefit of that is uh, scalability and cost. So if you have a great application that on the first day of launch goes from zero users to a million users, well most companies can't plan for that type of growth using on-premise software or on-premise uh, uh, infrastructure. Whereas with App Engine, you can scale your application up if there are a lot of users and you can scale it down. So it's a lot less expensive than uh, doing it yourself. And you also get to use a lot of Google code um, that helps you develop faster. Um, I was just going to say, Python, any, uh, any talks I think Rajan mentioned last night about uh, looking at other languages going forward? Oh, that's definitely our goal. I mean, we would like to make it so that all developers are able to leverage App Engine. Python's a language that we use internally. It was the one we could get it out fastest, but as with all of our products, there's continuous innovation, so uh, we definitely hope to get additional languages out there. Cool. So you guys have the web developer part of the cloud. You've got the application part of the cloud. What about the infrastructure part, say the, the pure compute cycles or storage? Are you in that at all? Uh, no, we aren't. We, you know, we really wanted to initially get out Google Apps, which is our communication collaboration suite. So uh, one of the missions of the enterprise team is to take all of that uh, consumer technology that's, that's uh, helped people have home lives that are, that are richer and also have technology that's in many ways a lot better than what they have at work and bring that consumer innovation into businesses. So we've taken things like Gmail, Google Calendar, Docs, Sites, and brought them into businesses. Um, so really right now we have apps which is packaged applications that you can use immediately and App Engine. But some cool things uh, that you can do with, with both of them is you can actually build App Engine apps that can run for your specific domain. So you're able to extend what we have as applications, but only offer them to your specific users. Excellent, well thanks so much for taking the time to chat. Okay, thank you.